if you can fall in love with the boring and the repetition and the consistency you will never be robbed from where you're trying to go to there is no shortcut there is an efficient and effective way to do things and do things faster or with the same action get more and that's why i love the space that we're in and that's kind of what i want to talk about today i want to highlight in short how you know being in this business model i want to give some level of inspiration here and also just reflect on what needs to go on behind the scenes to then be able to get to the three f's as i like to call it for this which is the flexibility freedom and the forecasting who's this oh you're an entrepreneur oh you're a real estate investor oh you're trying to learn from those who did it well, come into the lab then. Put your white coat on, gloves on, notepad, and let's build y'all. Experiment Nation, Ruben here. Just wanted to tune in and record a very short and punchy episode um, as I'm just getting back into the studio after an amazing weekend uh we recently spent um well actually spent the week in new york for the u.s open and again uh such a treat being able to see mastery um in the flesh i truly appreciate because you know i think we see a lot of the highlights with a lot of you know what these uh those who have mastered their craft we only see the highlights right we see sports center uh you know on social media i think you know uh, on in my on my turf you share the contracts right you share the portfolio x amount of properties x amount of cash flow but behind the scenes is a process um uh, that i think sometimes is under estimated uh undervalued um and i think you know we're in a society that uh, does reward the 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 milestones right uh and highlights them but i think it it kind of robs from the reality of what uh, happens behind the scenes especially when it comes to mastery um it's you know i was just uh, got a chance to you know shoot shout out to um Jason and Lucy, uh, good friends of ours who were able to give us some really nice access to courtside uh, seats. And, you know, we, I was talking about it with him uh, this, uh, at the time that, you know, in any level of mastery, there's boring repetition on the other side of it. Um, that is not very sexy and it's not highlighted, but I do think uh, what's good to highlight here is that the reward is so sweet. Uh, and if you can fall in love with the boring and the repetition and the consistency, uh, you will never be robbed from where you're trying to go to. Um, there is no shortcut. There is an efficient and effective way to do things and do things faster uh, or with the same action, get more. And that's why I love um the space that we're in and that's kind of what i want to talk about today um uh, want to highlight in short how you know being in this business model i want to give some level of inspiration here and also just reflect on you know what needs to go on behind the scenes to then be able to get to the three f's as i like to call it for this which is the flexibility freedom and the forecasting and i put it in that order for a reason um because what I do like about this business model is the flexibility that it gives you. And when I say this business model, I'm referring to the midterm rental insurance niche that we're in. It's very niche. You know, every time I speak with people, whether it's at a wedding or sitting next to someone and I'm traveling, they're like, that is a very niche. And they do say there is riches in the niches, right? In the niches, right? But um, it's not but. And there is also a process behind being niche uh and being uh, being in a niche is making sure that uh, it's a very specific knowledge that needs to be attained and then uh 
executed to get very um, unconventional results. And honestly, that's one of my inspirations of of why I I set up the um, the the lab, the real estate experiment, the way I've done so. It's to uh, how do we do unconventional experiments to get unconventional results? Uh, but it doesn't mean that the effort uh, is goes out the window. There is a level of effort, but what if that level of effort input gives you 10x the output? So that's what I want to talk about today. So number one, the flexibility of this space. I want to cover this very uh, short and punchy. Being able to, you know, have been on the road, you know, my my, my wife, Selena, and I started this business. Um, you know, part of what we wanted was um, to create... Um, to to essentially, of, of course, create a asset that could bring us higher returns than traditional returns, right? That's why we didn't do long-term rentals. It didn't make any sense. Then we did short-term rentals, and then we came across this niche of mid-term rentals, which really gave a lot of, A, the continuous flexibility that we had when we first closed on our first short-term rental. It was completely out of state, uh, sight unseen, we obviously had a video, you know, who, not how we leverage the who to walk the property, do a walkthrough with the phone, uh, et cetera. And then we close on that property. Um, but what I liked is we always had that flexibility. And anytime, you know, if you're in going into a business where you need to be there to begin with, I don't like that business, right? I want to be able to build a business that gives us the flexibility to travel, the flexibility to be with family and still have your pop, uh, business operate, the flexibility to be at the U.S. Open and still being booked and busy and, you know, cash flowing, et cetera, right? Uh, the ability to travel, to take off, to ability to be able to have your cake and eat it too. We stay in some of the properties that we own, right? Um, like our vacation rental, right? We book some time off with family, right? Being able to build a, a flexible business where you dictate what goes on and you also have a lot of who's who can help you. That is actually the reason why we went into this business. Um, and flexibility is closely tied to freedom because when something is flexible, it gives you the freedom to navigate the way you want to go, right? So we're not like restricted. We're not the ones who are cleaning. We're not the ones who you know, are constantly having to deal with turnovers because A, we have a cleaning team for that. And B, um, we actually don't have a lot of turnovers in the midterm rental insurance space because yes, we do like to have cleaners once a month come in um, to check in on a property and we bake that into the contract itself where we have a monthly mandatory cleaning fee in addition to the rental fee we also have pet rent in addition to that we also have a cleaning fee on the way out experiment nation you've heard the word mtr mid-term rentals as it is currently a hot topic and hot commodity right now because Again, there has been an increase in short-term rental regulations, and there also has been, let's face it, a slowdown in what we were experiencing a couple years back when it comes to bookings. So with that said, short-term rental operators are looking for alternative solutions to tap into the mid-term rental space. However, there is a space, there is a sub niche of mid term rental insurance that I'm truly excited about that I want to share with you that the experience that we've had, the tremendous results we've been able to have, and that's the insurance mid term rental space, which is very different than your traditional mid term rentals. When you think of traditionally mid term rentals, you think of travel nurses. There is a space, midterm rental insurance space that we've tapped in where you need to be well connected with insurance and relocation specialists and companies and understand the right type of asset required for you to be able to help these families. What's really important that stands out the most, which you can get in what I'm about to offer you is the understanding where to be found by these insurance companies how to properly manage your calendar so that your listings are optimized so that they can find you, how to actually gain traction and build a relationship with these relocation insurance companies. I've put together an MTR insurance blueprint. That's double M T triple R insurance blueprint to cover these foundations after we've had success landing very large contracts on single family homes that literally 4x what we traditionally make in long-term rentals and also gives 
us peace of mind because there's less turnover and a hundred percent occupancy because these contracts can start anywhere from 30 days to three months to eight months and range anywhere from again we've landed anywhere from eight thousand to nine thousand dollars a month in per month on a single family home property which our mortgages are typically around the 2400 range which then gives you a large spread of anywhere from four to six k net on just one property and this is why it's very hot right now but people who haven't been in the lab with individuals like myself like jesse vasquez and dr rachel gainsbrew and noble crawford don't have the foundations and don't know exactly where to start and therefore this is why i'm giving you guys a blueprint the mtrr insurance blueprint go to the website experimentrealestate.com and get yourself a blueprint to completely change or at least have a plan B if you're a short-term rental operator looking to maximize your occupancy and profitability. We'll see you on the other side. Right, so these things are important for us to have in place because we want the flexibility and we want the freedom to be able to take off and you know go to an event like the US Open and enjoy it and you know uh, meet our mastermind members and and um, have amazing memories because I believe in setting memory dividends right so that's number one and you know you build enough of these and you don't have to have a gazillion you don't have to have dozens you only need a couple of the right ones and you will see that you know you, there will be a significant amount of roi and exponential growth because we like to buy assets that are appreciating in value of course we like to buy cash flowing assets and we like to buy them strategically where you put money less money down anywhere from five to ten percent to 15 to 20 if you will we've never done the 20 thing right we've always done a second home loans creative financing um uh, primary residences convert into real uh, investment properties, etc. But we like that because we know that our guests and now these insurance companies are paying for a mortgage, which means that again, as we're going to experience interest rates are going to drop. Um, you know, there's equity that's in the property. We're going to use it to refinance, to then buy more property, to create more cash flow, to build more assets, so that then exponentially over time the assets increase in value across the board in equity, which then gives you a treasure chest to play with to make a bigger play on bigger deals and over the same size, but scale faster, right? And we're not even talking about the cash flow that also can be put to work and the tax advantages as well. So it's really creating a flexible tool set that will then give us the freedom so that when we think about that freedom number, we think we always look at it as, what is it that our assets are bringing us for us to be able to afford the liabilities that we want, right? Like the fun, stupid things to do, right? That don't make any sense. It can make sense if there's an asset that's paying for it, right? And and at the end of the day, it's a shout out to Die With Zero with Bill Perkins. It's about enjoying the time that's here with the people that you love, with the people that matter, right? And so the whole thing, though, I just talked about equity. I just talked about cash flow. The question that I get typically is around what type of asset to buy, what should it be, um, you know, what kind of properties, um, how do I evaluate an MTR number? And the answer is very simple. We run, we run and underwrite all of our deals like a short-term rental because then we can actually truly understand forecast by big data. I'm not going to go ahead and start doing the coverage deal of 25% of the property's worth and then divide it by 12, et cetera, yet. Or I'm not even going to do it when I'm underwriting a deal because I want the data to back me up first so that I understand what's happening at a short-term mental level so that I can truly forecast. And in any business, forecasting is so critical because it's important for you to be able to forecast and be able to determine what you will actually make, right? So that's why we don't use MTR because A, contracts are created with relationships and based on when they happen, but big data like short-term rentals is based on big data and multiple comps, right? And so while we know that we can get midterm rental insurance contracts time and time again because of the relationships that we fostered and the databases that we're in and we know how to optimize our listing so that new relocation specialists and even families can find us online, 
we still want to be conservative in how we evaluate our numbers. We underwrite all of our deals like short term rentals. That way we can always have that as a backup plan should we need to go there. Right. So that is how we underwrite all of our deals. And that is how we're able to forecast. And most importantly, once we do close on a contract in midterm rental insurance space, because we know exactly the amount of minimum of months that they're going to be staying in, if they're going to extend, we can even predict and forecast based on the last month that you booked. It's going to be the same rate guaranteed. As a matter of fact, when we sign a contract, we typically guarantee that the it is non-refundable upfront. So with that said, flexibility, freedom, forecasting is critical. And it's done, these little bits and pieces that come together are done in a very strategic way. And is why it makes this space so special is because it gives you the flexibility where you can do this out of state. You can do this any state because there are proven, again, track uh, a proven track record, proven blueprint that work across any state where you can use vendors, you can order furniture on Wayfair, you can have someone assemble it, you can build a team, you can use platforms like Turnover BNB to build your cleaning team, you can find your handyman, um, you can, uh, I mean, there's literally platforms all over, you can build a team and focus on the who, not how, which then gives you the flexibility to be anywhere you want to be in the world, and then gives you the freedom, the time freedom, once the money prop, uh, part is solved, now it gives you the money freedom, the time freedom to do what you want. And then most importantly, once your portfolio starts to grow, if you have one property, you can then even forecast on the next deal based on underwriting it like a short term rental. And you can also currently forecast your current deals based on either air data from air DNA data from your previous uh, performance from a previous contract and or a current contract because you know that there's going to be an extension you have a 30 days notice to vacate which then always uh, a 30 days notice to extend which then can always prepare you to always stay prepared so that you have to get prepared so that you can continuously be able to even forecast what you're going to make how much you should be saving during either a busy season if you're in a seasonal market and or be able to very know exactly what you're going to get every month at the bare minimum based on the big data that you can leverage so again the triple f flexibility freedom and forecasting is why we love this space and when it all comes together in a big bow it's beautiful and you're serving families and it's serving a purpose and in our world we're able to help other homeowners do the same so make sure if that's something you're interested in uh, make sure you uh, go to experimentrealestate.com forward slash submit. We're more, more than happy to help you wherever you are in your marketplace uh, because uh, my goal is to help as many uh, homeowners nationwide get unconventional results using unconventional ways to do real estate the way we have. Cheers. Experiment Nation, I believe there are two critical components that will help you achieve your goals very quickly and succeed. Number one, it's information like this that you received on a show in an episode and content that you can find on my YouTube channel or anybody's channel. And then there's a community. And the way we've been able to expedite our process, the way people in our community, who are people that we consult, mastermind members, whoever, they get the information on an episode like this, but then they also have a support, whether it's me guiding them or being guided through a community, there is an opportunity for you listening to be able to expedite your process or even expedite your results that you're seeking by being a part of the community. If that is what you're interested in, we at Experiment Nation happen to have a community devoted to helping maximize your occupancy and your profitability altogether, regardless of which market that you are in. And for that reason, you have an opportunity where you can go to experimentrealestate.com forward slash submit if you're looking to work in an environment that can help you prosper faster. Call out any areas that you might not be familiar in, especially the blind spots. That's where a guide comes in hand, and I would be a pleasure and honor to be your guide. But in order to make sure you're a good fit, make sure you go to experimentrealestate.com forward slash submit so my team can go ahead and take it and see if you're a good fit to join the mastermind and the multiple programs that we have. In addition to that, I'm also now a YouTube partner, which means that I want to give you more access to information, more access to Q and A's, more access to the questions that actually come out of our mastermind to help people expedite the process. We've seen people get anywhere from four to 5,000, 6,000, even $7,000 a month net on just one door by applying the strategies that we use by working with corporations, 
and furnish the accommodation in a very strategic way. So if you're interested, make sure you also subscribe because I'm going to have different tiers that's on YouTube now that we've become YouTube partner to continue to be the bridge to your success in your lab and your lab means your life your goals or wherever you're trying to head so make sure you also hit the subscribe button on my youtube channel that's youtube.com forward slash real estate experiment will be there you can also look us up at midterm rental insurance experiment we will be there make sure you hit the subscribe because that's when you will know the tiers that are available to you that make sense for you your marketplace for your results remember you're only one experiment away let's build